hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther Moffrey. in today's video i want to give you guys a very very good setup on gbp audi if the market does whatever we will do today if it breaks these certain key zones we will have a very very good setup that it can even go to thousands of peeps so i've decided because i've been teaching on this channel i've been giving strategies every single day i want to pick two days that is mondays and wednesdays for you guys to come here expecting a setup i'll be very very um ready to give you setups in the live markets something that you can go check on your laptop and see and if i can if that day i have a setup that is a sell or a buy i'll give it like a signal but i want to spice it um to involve you guys in when in analyzing because if i give you a setup and you go and analyze by yourself and you see we are seeing the same thing the signal now does not have like you don't know what is going on so in this case uh the next setup i'll give it on wednesday so every every mo monday beginning of the week and wednesday at least two days if you follow this channel uh you will be having trades on your phone so today we will go to gbp audi and the reason why i want to to give this setup is because it can be profitable even to a thousand pips. So we'll go to monthly time frame. That's where everything starts. So from monthly time frame, let's mark the lowest point of this market. We can see that this market, the lowest point was uh, back in 2013. That's where GBP Audi had gone to the lowest. And then if we try to mark our highest point, the market had gone all the way uh, to which year? 2002. So at least we know the market can go to 2.96, the market can go down to 1.4. So the market where it is, it can, it can do so many things. It can go down, it can go up because we have a clear mind that the market has ever been up, the market has ever been down. So where the market is, we need now to put a trend line for us to be able to understand uh, better. So I'll just put this uh, trend line like that, focusing on last month. You can see there's a week there on the last month. It's to see if the price come and touch the same position, what will happen. You can see the market has come. Let me just, uh, I think I zoom in for you guys to see. You can see this month they touched and now I have drawn a trend line and again it has touched. So if this month that this trend line can be broken, it means that the market can start to go down. And then I can I want to put the trend line above. So how do we put this trend line above here? Actually, if you are on your laptop, you should be analyzing with, with me because this is a live market and you'll understand where do we enter because analysis is one thing, but entry is another thing in the market. So this is how we do it. And then I'm trying to connect these prices because if this market will shoot high, I just want to see uh, what will limit um, the take profit. Where should I take uh, my profit? So we have something like that. So on monthly time frame, we are settled. We have trend lines on. And then I'll mark key support zone. I can see there's a key support zone here. And that this support zone is what that is uh it's what um the sellers are trying to break because you can see very clearly we had a double a double top. You see this is monthly and this being the neckline, the sellers they cannot break. But until the month closes, that's when you can identify that on monthly the buyers have won and they're in control. So you can see that. At this moment, the market is very, very in a very, very tricky position. So on monthly time frame, all we can know is that the market is on an uptrend. Why? Because this being our low, you can see this being our low, we can see the market is making high lows because the sellers didn't remove this low. They didn't take the market down. So we have our high low here. And this on monthly, now that's what it is. It shows us that on monthly time frame, still buyers are in control. So, and now we can have our third high low. 
so the market can continue going upward so unless this candle closes this month on monthly time frame you cannot do as much as you would want so let's guys shift to weekly let's shift to weekly and let's try to see what is happening so on weekly time frame you can see um the same thing the support has not been broken you can see we had tried here it was not broken and then another thing on weekly we can identify this as it has two patterns we can have a double bottom here you can have this as double bottom you can see this being a double bottom on weekly and if that's a double bottom what is your where is your neckline the neckline can be this this area so i hope that one is clear so on weekly we can see we might have a pattern on weekly we might have a pattern and if this is a pattern the neckline should be all the way up to that point so this should be our neckline if that happens if we have a pattern this is our neckline if this happens again we have a, a, a double bottom on the bigger double bottom I, I don't know if you understand if i try to to expand this market you can see here we have a double bottom yes we had this big one but again we have a small one where the neckline is something that you can see you can see the neckline is there so we have a double bottom that is the neckline and this now there's two first bottom second bottom so from weekly perspective we can see now buyers buyers being supported very well like buyers are being supported so what we are waiting what you are waiting guys is the break of this neckline we are waiting a candle to break that neckline for us to enter this market and you know once a market is broken once neckline is broken of any double top double bottom the market goes to this direction so one or the other the market may approach this area of 1.91 and that's why i'm saying if this setup is confirmed we might have a trade that can go all the way to a thousand pips so the only the only thing that is making us or limiting limiting us to enter this market it's because our neckline in this case it's not broken so this being our this being first first bottom and now this one being the second bottom it means that the market um uh this is first bottom so the reason i'm typing that it's because it might if it doesn't break here we don't have this uh, confirmation the market can go all the way so all we are waiting on weekly time frame you can watch other videos that i have taught on weekly strategy so on weekly strategy we have to apply here and the weekly strategy is we wait for a weekly candle to break our neckline guys it's that simple and if this happens if the neckline is broken if the neckline is broken and we enter this trade these are the trades that you hold and you're sure that the market will eventually go all the way so if the net trend uh if the neckline is broken this market will go a thousand pips 1333 pips that's what i'm saying the market will go and if we target the trend line if we we say we will target we will target at the trend line because we drew that trend line for a reason so if we target at the trend line that's what we get we get 917 so at the end of the day the market will eventually come here if the neckline is broken so we are still waiting so that's the setup we have on weekly so guys let's quickly go on daily so let's go on daily so on daily do we have a, a double bottom yes we have a double bottom so on monthly we just had high uh, high highs and high high lows we don't have any confirmation the price is at the very key support but on monthly we have two double bottoms and um, on daily again we have a double bottom so daily it is supporting a buy so you can see here very clearly i don't know if you guys had seen a double bottom on gbp audi you can see very clearly we have a double bottom and the same neckline is what we are struggling with here so guys the reason why i'm saying we have to wait the reason you, you have to wait it's because them if the market rejects this neckline it will come down and they will break this uh this zone 
and the cell will continue. So you have to have a lot of patience. Once a daily candle breaks here, because we have this double bottom, if we didn't have the double bottom on, on daily, we could not be interested with the breaking of daily candle. But now because uh, the double bottom has been made even on week on daily, if a candle breaks on daily like this, it breaks this neckline like this, it closes like that, we will enter. And now the place that we will, be asking ourselves will it break 1.81 because again we cannot target all the way here we need to be assured that it has broken this zone of 1.79 it breaks again the zone of 1.81 and now we can go all the way so on daily um the 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 market has um it we have a double bottom and now because we want to be very, very careful. If at all you want to trade GBP AUD, I suggest don't go to four hours because what ha what happens with four hours? Four hours, remember, we do not have a double bottom. And I'll show you why. We do not have a double bottom on four hours. So the double bottom, you know very well, it's not sup it's supposed to reach at that place. You can see it never touched. They never touched the zone. So we don't have a double bottom on 4-hour. There was space created. So if you were looking at 4-hour, you missed the chance because the double bottom was made on weekly and daily, not 4-hour. So we can't uh, really um, anticipate to see the breakage with 4-hour with because there is no double bottom in 4-hour. So whatever we do, we will wait for daily candle to close a weekly candle to close so that you can come to look for entry. So at the moment, the market is like this. At the moment, you can see this red line is what we are looking for it to be broken. So eventually, if the market comes, if the, the on 4-hour, we have a very big candle like that. If 4-hour this happens, we have a very green candle and it, it breaks that uh, this line, don't be very, very excited to enter why it can be a fake breakout because we are not waiting the 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 double bottom to be broken with four hour we will wait to see you flip your daily and you see the same candle if you see the same candle in daily like that and the candle has closed that's when we'll know the market has broken the neckline so at this moment what i can tell you is that you wait now it's to wait i've given you a setup let's wait for what the market will behave on a daily daily uh, or weekly because today is monday so if you can wait if you can just wait for gbp i would need to check on friday or saturday it is good because if you have a confirmation on weekly you can put a very uh, like a swing trade or if you want to be confirming every day why because on daily still we have a double bottom so you can be confirming every day to see if the, the neckline has been broken if let's let's uh uh assume or let's try to assume that the market does something like this we start getting some rejection very very big rejection like that and every time the market comes it yes it's touching the neckline but it's the presence of the week we might have a we might have a rejection and the market may never break that zone. So if the market never breaks this neckline, we are not entering by. The only time we will enter this by, and I'll tell you guys, is if the neckline is broken. So guys, that was our setup for this Monday. If you didn't have a pair to look at, look at GBP out. This is a pair that once it gives us confirmation, once it breaks here, and once weekly they close. If the weekly closes, if the weekly closes, uh, this candle breaks here the market will eventually go to all to the trend line and it will eventually touch that uh, that resistance so the only thing that you need to do now is to have patience because trading is not about getting setups getting ideas it's inclusive of patience you need now patience in the market if i put 20 ama 20 ama will really help you why because you can see that on daily 20 MA, the market broke 20 MA and it's kind of retesting. But if we go to weekly, if we go to weekly, you can see 20, the price is reacting on 20 EMA. So once you come on weekly chart and you find your candle has, it's above 20 EMA. I think that's good news because the market will have proved that it has broken the neckline. So keep in mind that if 20 EMA on weekly time frame has been broken and closed above, our neckline has been broken and we are about 
to go on this journey of a thousand pips thank you so much guys for watching if you have any question concerning this trade comment down below and if you want me to check any other pair that may have opportunity and opportunity i don't mean 50 pips opportunity i mean from 500 pips comment down below and maybe we can analyze together thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye